Hi there, Becky here from 168 Fitness. So over the past five weeks, I've been talking about one of my favourite things that is running and helping you to get started on your running journey. So hopefully you have made a start by now. If you made a start and you've maybe dropped off since, then get back into it as soon as you can, um, because you I, hopefully you'll love it but obviously if you if you started and you didn't love it and you don't want to get back into it that's absolutely fine uh, maybe it's just not for you and that's okay but if you really do want to get into it and you truly do want to do it you want to become a runner um, then let's just I'm here to motivate you to get into it to get back out and do that next run the first run's the hardest the second run is going to be no more difficult no more challenging it's just maybe the same but mentally you know what to expect you just have to go out there and do it don't you so um let this be your motivation your encouragement to go out there and do it um however if you have been following my advice and we're now up to running three times a week and whatever distance that is or however long that is for um if we're up to running three times a week then well done fantastic achievement in the past six weeks of less you've you've managed to take yourself from maybe never running before or not having run for a long time to then being able to run three times a week is fantastic or even if you're only at one time a week two runs a week whatever you're doing now well done as long as you've done that that first session and if you've kept consistent and and been building up and keeping going over the past few weeks as well then fantastic well done just keep going that is my advice for this week i want you to just keep being consistent if you can progress as well sticking with those three runs a week if you're up to that um but progressing the distance that you're running for or the intervals um that you were doing the duration of running um and increasing those um then and just sticking with the consistently running three times a week then that's fantastic and really, really well done. And that's what I want to encourage you to do um, over the next weeks and months and summer and into winter. If we can be doing it now, then we get into the habit and then over winter when it's maybe not so appealing, when it's darker and colder and maybe not so nice weather, um, we've already built up that um that fitness and also um, we just made it a habit so you'll want to do it you'll miss those endorphins if you don't go and that's where we that's what we're trying to do by um by running three times a week we're trying to build up sort of that you're doing it more regularly so that then you you feel better for doing it um on those running days and then also you'll want to do it more often and uh it'll keep it's a, it's a cycle basically you'll you'll miss it if you don't do it if you used to running three times a week and then one week you don't run at all or you only run once a week you will feel like you miss it and then that's motivation to get you back into it again the next time so that's what we're trying to do and also by being consistent, we're trying to build up your fitness and then in turn that will make you um, feel like you can run more often or for longer and just feel more efficient when you're running and just more able and just, yeah, hopefully enjoying it more. So it's all just a nice cycle of um, going out and doing it feeling good and then just going out and do it again and feeling even better and keeping going so that's what I want to encourage you to do this week is just be consistent um tiny progressions if uh, you want to just building up steady just see how you feel as I've said before not every run's going to be your best so don't feel like you need to be smashing those pbs every time you go out running because really you just want to be building up that base you can't expect to be super fast or um or just super able and like running long distance and stuff if you've not really ever run before or if you've had time off um, from running you can't expect to get back into it um, and just get straight to where you were before because that's unlikely so um, so just building up nice and steady and then just keeping being consistent keep doing it keep doing the work feeling good enjoying it hopefully as well and then you can be inspiring other people as well to um, to get out running and um, yeah continue your journey and uh, maybe help some other people as well so if you have any other questions about uh running and um yeah you or you you want to uh, my advice on 
entering any races or how to train for anything or whatever you, questions or about a, a kit to wear or trainers or anything like that please do get in touch I do have quite a bit of experience 20 years as I said of running so I've kind of had all the injuries you could probably think of um, and I've tried out lots of different trainers and kit and things like that so I do have quite a bit of knowledge on it um, and I would love to help you with any extra training that you need any help with as well um, but if you don't need my help then please do just keep going and I'll be back next week with some more uh, top tips but please do keep going on your running journey well done